it's Mrs. Create here coming to you from one of my favorite spaces in the house, our laundry room. I don't even like blue, but I love this laundry room. The colors are very bright and they inspire me to feel like I need to clean and do laundry and keep things neat and that's kind of what you need in a mudroom. Today I'm going to take you on a big tour of this tiny space and all the changes that we've made. Some kind of shabby before and after pics but you'll still get a good idea of what we had to work with in the beginning and hopefully this will inspire you to create some joy in your house too. Enjoy! This is what the closet looked like before we had the bench installed. It had the bifold doors, and as you can see, my coat and other things are overloading the girls' coat rack. It was a very tight space to get in and out of. It wasn't functioning very well. As you can see, when the closet doors opened, it was a hot mess. And look closely, even there on the left-hand side, that top hinge is about to fall apart because it was just such an awkward way to open the doors. It didn't matter how many containers or bins or shoe storage organizers I had, I felt like I could never keep this closet tidy or functioning the way that we needed it to function with a toddler underfoot. The other problem with the bifold doors is it always felt like the doors were getting ready to fall off the track. It didn't matter how carefully we opened the doors, it just always felt like they were just one second from like coming off the track and falling on somebody. At one point, it got so bad, I told my husband, just take, just take the doors off, take them off. And he did, and it felt a little bit better for a minute, but it didn't really help with the clutter, the shoes, the shoe baskets, the overflow. It still did not function like, just like a clean mud room as I was wishing for. This is what the cabinets look like before we painted them, and I think they're a beautiful color if you love wood. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of wood, and we had a lot of wood coming from the laundry room all the way through the kitchen, and I felt like the space would feel brighter and bigger in a brighter color. Before the reno, we had a standard washer and dryer and a linoleum floor. And as you can see here, the girl was super little. Look at her little white shoes. We were on our way to a um, spring um, school concert, I think it was. I would keep my purse on top of the washer and dryer. Our key dish was on top of the dryer. I mean, it was pretty basic. Look at how little those little shoes these are. Oh, those were the days. But yep, this is pretty much what it looked like before. In the beginning, I wasn't even really sure how we were going to get a mudroom effect. I was looking at Home Depot and Lowe's for shelves and beadboard and hooks and trying to convince my husband to build something. He's like, I am not a carpenter. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. So I turned to trusty Etsy and I found a company called Spec Custom Woodwork, a husband and wife team, and they did a phenomenal job. They did a prefabrication. They built everything um, at their shop in Ohio. And because we're kind of close, they brought it here and they installed it. Uh, my husband sent them the measurements and it was a one day install. And as you can see, nobody was happier than the girl with her little PJ mask on. But it was really an easy installation on our end, anyways. Found these gold hooks at Target. The hooks and the drawer pulls were originally black but we swapped them out for gold. And I found these on Amazon. Right next to the bench is the girl's coat rack and a mirror. The coat rack came from Ikea and we've had it since she was a toddler. It's been amazing because in Michigan, you need all of the outerwear all the time. 
and it's velvet, so we've got a mask and her little purse. I love that the little posts are, are movable, so you can always like rearrange it for whatever's going on, which is especially helpful when it's snowsuit season. Then we have this mirror that came from Target. I ordered it online, and I can't tell if you guys can see that it's not really mounted very high. It's at the girl's eye level and, and a little bit below where hubs and I can see, but that means everybody can see what they look like before they head out the door. These baskets are full of hats and scarves and you know, all the little trinkety stuff that you might take around town. Look at my junky one, I need to clean that out. <laughs> and I got those from Target. I'm not really in love with these liners, but they don't really stand out either way, so I guess it's fine. This plaque is my favorite. It came from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale, and I think it's just a good reminder as you're getting ready to head out the door and you see that, or you're coming in and you see that. I think that's a good reminder. This was a closet with bifold doors. So every time we would come in the back door, we would step over each other and have to open one door and the other door and then the shoes were falling out and it just is a much better use of space to use it as like a mudroom bench. This rug is my favorite home goods find. It matches perfectly. So in order for the rug not to catch um, every time we open and close the door, we just bent some of it under and tucked it underneath the washer and dryer and then my husband re-leveled them. So we just had to make sure we could clear the doorway. Now this may seem simple, but just having a key dish or a home for your keys, I think is something that everybody should have. This is like an old dish. I don't even know whose it was, my husband's or mine. When we got together, we put these little felt pads at the bottom and this is where our keys live. So we never have to wonder what happened to the keys. They're always in the same spot. Always. I'm a firm believer in everything having a home like this does not live in here and this is the girl. So I can move all these items out while I'm shooting the video. This can stay. I don't know why this is in here, but you get my point here. Have, have a home for your keys and look at this little doohickey that my husband bought. Like, so when you go someplace now that it's COVID, you can touch it without touching it with your fingers. I think this is cool. <laughs> Can you go put these where they live, please? Yep. I love that we have this little window here to look out and this is where we've been washing our hands. This I got from Lowe's and I, I love the way that it works. Um, pretty simple. Um, doesn't really bother me that it's silver and gold. I'm kind of material mixing here. My African Violet is still alive. I don't know how, but she's alive and if you've not watched the video on how I transformed that, you can click on that when you're done watching this one. And when COVID is over, we're going to get this hose um, put down here so you can't see it. We had to stop because the world stopped, so. Inside this cabinet, one day I'm gonna really organize it and make it pretty, but for now, it's just really functional. I have some extra supplies for laundry and cleaning in here. But my most important bin is the hangers. So I use these for the hang-ups. And um, let me show you where I hang things up in here. There's a little lip here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's a nice little lip. And I just put the hangers there and you can hang dry. Um, it's been really nice for summer because the clothes are light. I try not to hang too many things at once. Um, and the dryer feature here is pretty good. So I, I just hang up the delicates. So I highly recommend having like a little basket to keep your plastic hangers. These are ones like when you buy clothes, little extra ones that you normally would throw away. Um, some of the toddler hangers, I mean, I don't even use these in a room anymore, but they're perfect for hanging up stuff. So find a home for some hangers in your laundry area. It just really saves the headache, it really does. Now I could have gone with a fancy light, but I opted for bright and simple. Um, this one came from Lowe's. It's just like an LED light and it is very bright. Um, and I really like that when we come in, whether it's day or night, it's nice and bright in here. Today is kind of dreary outside, but literally this is my favorite room in the morning because the blue just pops when the sun is shining. And I don't even like blue. I really don't. <laughs> but 
I love these cabinets and this really inspires me to want to actually do laundry. The hardwood really kind of accentuates the color and we've got this play off the gold. I've started to organize the cabinets in here um, in line with COVID and my OCD ways. I have some of our extra supplies here for hand sanitizer, masks, gloves, and cleaning supplies. Soaps, those are mask filters. Gloves, just like miscellaneous stuff. This cabinet color is called Sherwin-Williams Quench Blue, number 6785. If you're interested in recreating this cheery laundry room, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. We'll see you soon.